Beginner's Piano meets Derwent Harps. Welcome to Beginner's Piano. This is a little supplementary video about the similarities between learning the harp and piano. In lesson nine in the first course, there's a little piece called The Harp Plays. So that's one connection, but there are more. I went up to meet Helen and Paul from Derwent Harps and spend the weekend with them on their Beginner's Harp course in Aberystwyth, Wales. It was a beautiful weekend and the sun shone, revealing the Welsh countryside in all its spring glory. What a treat! So, the piano and the harp both rely on strings for their sound. The key difference, though, is that with the piano, the strings are struck by a felt hammer through the key mechanism. Whereas with the harp, the harpist plucks the strings directly with the fingers. I'll let Helen explain. So I'm here at Derwent Harps with Helen and Paul having a fantastic weekend playing the harp. Helen, how similar is playing the harp to playing the piano? Well, it's very similar, so it's probably the closest thing. So your middle C in the middle here, same as the middle C on your piano. All your red strings are Cs and your blue strings are F and everything fits in C, D, E, F, G, A like your white notes on the piano. And how do you get black notes on this harp? So this harp currently tuned in C major, so you can only have sharps because we've got our little levers on the top, so you can have C and C sharp. How you tune your combination of levers depends on whether you can get sharps or flats. Right. So you might tune B to natural with the lever up, and then you can have B and B flat. B flat. Lovely. Generally, people would tune in E flat major, and this is a brand new harp. Right. talking yeah. to each other and then give it a will, because that's why we always prepare the hands. So that's the, the fundamental difference between playing the harp and playing the piano is the preparation of the hands. So it's, it's quite similar to the way you would prepare your fingers on the organ. There you go. And down. Yeah. The harps we're using are built here in Wales by Paul at Derwent Harps. He uses quite a bit of modern technology, but still produces a quality, beautifully crafted and rich sounding harp that's very affordable and allows access to an instrument that for one of such good quality and sound projection previously was have cost a great deal more. And for such a small harp, the Discovery has 16 strings. It is a very versatile instrument in its own right. I should say that I'm not being sponsored to make this video. It is to support beginner's piano and look a bit outside the box and share the delightful weekend I had at Derwent Harps this weekend. But over to Paul in his workshop for more about making harps. Amazing. Paul, how do you make a harp? It's quite simple, really. It's a, a modern process of making harps. Um, yeah. Everyone expects a traditional sort of Pepito's workshop, but that's... That's the last century. It's um, designed on a computer and made using robots, basically CNC machines. Uh -huh. um, and the parts are built. Off, uh, sorry, the parts are cut off site, and the harps are built here in the shed. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, workshop. <laughs> and, and what are you doing on this one? This harp now? Oh, this is the de design and decoration. We use a, a laser engraver to put various patterns onto the harps. Mm -hmm. That's a, a Celtic cross type yeah. of um, <clears throat> arrangement. And you simply fill it with gold acrylic uh, and wipe it off to sort of highlight it. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do all sorts. So again, it's all computers. Um, you can send the drawing over and the machine just zaps it on, it takes a minute or two, and yeah. um, there we go. It's, uh, can, you, can, can, you, can you give it a yeah, zap? Yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just kind of, there we go, a bit of gold just comes on. It dries within minutes, basically, this stuff. Um, and then a little coat of varnish over the top again, gloss varnish, just mm -hmm. highlights the gold and brings it out. So Fantastic. Leave that for a bit and it'll settle, uh, highlight the logo and then the, the thing on the back, and it just comes out. Yeah, and there we go, Brilliant. It's, uh, it just, just make, it just adds a bit of, a bit of personalisation to them, really. Fantastic. That's wonderful. Thank you. The harp course was spread over two days in a beautiful setting surrounded by stunning Welsh countryside and in an excellent venue, Alabrin, which means brow of the hill in English. Please forgive me if that's not quite correct if you're a Welsh speaker. Built in the 19th century, the hosts, Rob and John, also have a livery and stables and run the best bed and breakfast around and were warm hosts, Rob was a great cook and the accommodation and the room where the workshop took place was light and pleasant with a good Broadwood grand piano too. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to set the scene, but I'd certainly recommend a stay if you're wanting to visit the area. 
So anyway, getting back to the course, the cost included a 16 string discovery harp. So not only do you get to learn, you also get to keep your instrument too. And as I said, they are excellently made and produce a wonderful sound. We all started with the very basics. You will discover why it's important to have thumbs standing tall like giraffes, grasping the strings firmly, or as Helen quoted from her teacher, harpist David Watkins, grab a handful of harp strings and a pull. Fingers dive down to the soundboard when you pluck and a few other vital tips on technique that I won't spoil for you. Definitely take Hot cross buns, a favourite for beginners on many instruments, provided us with just the right start and played and sung us around. And oh, by the way, if you're not a music reader, Helen explains all very clearly. And at the end of the course, you get to take your first step exam in harp, courtesy of the International School of Musicians, or ISOM for short. Have a look at the range of ISOM activities on their YouTube channel, the link's below. But just like beginner's piano, everything is made clear and accessible and taught brilliantly by Helen, with some of her students who very kindly came along to assist. Well On Saturday evening, at the end of the first day, harpist Harriet Eris gave a wonderful concert and played harp repertoire from the Middle Ages to modern jazz. Such a versatile instrument. You can hear Harriet play on her YouTube channel linked below and I thoroughly recommend you go and listen to her. So back from the virtuosic and sublime to the more humble playing. Here's a sample of one of the little ISOM step pieces we learnt. We're all playing together, but it makes a lovely ensemble piece. All in all, a perfect weekend. Perfect weather, perfect company, everyone on the course was delightful. Perfect tarps, stunning countryside, beautiful music making, all brought together under the expert tuition and guidance from Helen and played on Paul's beautiful harps. For more about Derwent harps, the range of harps available, all made in Wales by Paul in his workshop, and the courses and tuition provided by Helen, click on the link below to go to their YouTube channel. And for Alabrin, the very comfortable accommodation nestling in the hills, hopefully you should be able to find the link to their website below. So, a bit of a change from piano, a little taste of the Welsh countryside and gorgeous harp music that I just wanted to share with you. I'll leave you with a version of Pachelbel's Canon that we played on the first day. The melody over the top is played by talented young harpist Ang Harrod, who just completed her grade four, and we were very lucky to have her playing along with us for the weekend. So, I'll see you back at Beginner's Piano, and whatever your instrument is, happy playing! <laughs>